Sorry, Kaap. In this series of questions, there's an interesting one. And this lady had a relationship. She got married. And right now, the situation is she is divorced. She found that the husband betrayed her. And this is what the husband said before he betrayed her, that he doesn't like the way she is. This is something that is happening a lot these days. It doesn't mean it must happen, but it's happening. People get married, or before they get married, they get into a relationship, and we try and understand one another. And in the process, we become very tolerant. We are tolerant to differences. Somehow we get married for whatever reason. Very tolerant. But the tolerance somehow reduces as time goes by. And then we have kids, maybe. And the tolerance gets less and less. Love gets less and less. And we find reasons to pick on one another. So I don't know whether this lady was part of the situation where they started picking on one another. Maybe you don't realize it. I'm talking to you, the lady. Maybe you don't realize that you were also being picky, less tolerant. And so here you have a husband totally unaware of the trance he is in, where in the beginning everything is okay, tolerant, love, blah, 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 everything deteriorates and then he finds a silly reason to say, I don't like you anymore and then he finds another person. Now this is how naive we are as human beings. No matter how many degrees you might have, how much money you might have, but when it comes to relationships, we are that stupid. Anyway, you are on the short end of the stick. You are now... I can tell you stories. I can teach you what to do. But you have this hurt inside that is caused by this significant emotional event or traumatic event. And so for you, to me, someone would say, move on. Not so easy. When a person has a broken relationship, normally, they would look for another relationship quickly to have a shoulder to lean on. That's bad because that person whose shoulder you're going to lean on would be a person just like you, a vulnerable, broken person. Because you are, in that stage, vulnerable and broken. So like attracts like. And what happens? The next relationship that you came, went into so fast because you wanted a shoulder to lean on destroys itself too. So if you're looking for guidance, I would say, chill out. Take it easy. Organize your life. Everything that happens, happened because of your participation in it. Make it happen in this way. In this, in this case, it broke up. So you need to learn a lot to discover what happened. Because in this bad movie, from the time it started till now, till the breakup, this is, I consider a bad movie. In that bad movie, there are a lot of episodes. And in those episodes, there were your actions in it. And so there must be a process for you to learn what caused all this, that you had a part to play in it. You didn't ask the questions in the beginning to discern that this person could betray you. So you cannot not be responsible for this. So how do you... Take this old bad movie, you can learn from it and then find the lessons and then, then you can heal yourself because now you become responsible. And when you have those lessons and you have healed yourself, then you'll be ready to engineer yourself a new relationship. I say engineer because it's not just bum into a relationship. You need to construct yourself. You need to find that new person and then you need to discern whether the person is suitable for you you give it time and then you construct and build it up and life is not just something that just happens you need to keep it going you need to stay in this construct mode for you to move from where you are to where you want to go otherwise 100 percent is going to deteriorate life deteriorates everything does including relationships and therefore, and once you are ready, then the person, the new person would come into your life and then you understand how to get this movie never to happen again for the rest of your life.
Now that would be the process I would suggest. But consider this. Somehow you couldn't see or didn't want to see two things. Couldn't see or didn't want to see that this person who you just broke up with was a person you may not be able to trust for a long-term relationship. Why didn't you see it? Because you were vulnerable. Your great life's waiting for you. Your relationships all waiting for you. Make it happen because life without relationships can be a chore. Thank you very much. Let us share that with you. Thank you. If you have a question, write it down. Hashtag ask Coach Boss and send to line at LiveUni.